<sighs> God bless our home land, Ghana, America, nation, great and strong. I can't even sing the anthem. Com- I can't even. I don't even know what to say. I can't even complete the anthem. Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. What have you people done to us? Really? Ghana Comoros. Three two. Who expected that? Please put it in the comment section if you actually expected that. Huh? Who expected that from Ghana? <sighs> hmm. Anyways, I just came here. I came here to actually give my thoughts, you know, about the match, my analysis, my reaction to the game. And um, what I'm going to start with is... I was actually disappointed by Ghana's performance. I'm not going to lie. I was fully disappointed. Say fully. I don't even know. I was really disappointed by the performance because I was expecting at least a win. Maybe a one goal win, two goal win or something. And Andre Dede. At length, he has got the red card. Since yesterday, a red card is very possible. Andre Dede are you. Andre Dede are you. Got a red card. He got a red card and what happened but the funny thing about it is that they scored two goals after i got the red card so it's like i was actually really happy for ghana to be honest with you i was really happy because i was like ah what is called two goals you know what i'm saying so it's two two so they just need one more goal and then that would be three points but before you knew it before you knew it comoros one basically one day one basically one day they came knocking and they scored the third goal 3-2. So now, long story short, Ghana is out of the competition. Ghana is out of the tournament. Ghana, why would you do that to us, man? Even though I'm Nigerian, fully Nigerian, and I support Nigeria and the Afghan, but I still wanted Ghana to at least, you know, get to a certain stage. At least get to the round of 16 or something. Dear Ghana Black Stars, man, that performance was that performance was completed in the comment section, please. You know what I'm saying? Ghanaians are our brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm Nigerian, Ghanaians are brothers, they are our sisters, you know what I'm saying? And then for them to just lose like this, whew, for them to lose like to lose like this is you know I'm I'm really sorry, I'm just I just came here to rant, man. To be honest, just speak my mind. I came here to speak my mind. I really didn't expect Ghana to be out of the competition at this stage. I didn't expect it at all. I didn't expect it at all. So where is the Ghanaian team going from here? Let's ask that question. You know, Nigeria did well in their first game. They did exceptionally well in their second game. Now, let's see what they're going to do in their third game. You know, but my prediction is going to be a win. I'm not going to lie. Man. I'm actually tired, guys. I just got back from work not too long ago. And, uh, yeah, I was like, you know what? I have to just talk about this, you know, just say what I what I think about the game and uh, I'm disappointed man because like I said Ghana should have at least gotten to <sighs> at least the round of 16 or something or even the semi-finals even the finals why not why not so now let's look at let's look at some of the mistakes that Ghana made in this game so my question is, first of all, my question is, how did they even allow or how did they let Comoros call the third goal? That's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to figure out. How did they let them score the third goal, man? Uh-huh. 
Man, I almost cried for Ghana, man. Honestly. I almost cried for Ghana. God bless our whole life. I can't even sing it well. God bless. Oh, oh, God. But, um, jokes apart though, Comoros, they really did well, man. I'm not taking anything away from the way Comoros played. They played really well. Let's, let's give it, let's give it to them, man. Big ups to, to the team. Like, the funny thing about this, the funny thing about the African Cup of Nations so far is, you know, we've seen teams that we didn't expect to do well, do well. Like, not just well, do exceptionally well. See what Sierra Leone did, did against uh, Cote d'Ivoire. They drew against Cote d'Ivoire 2-2. Hmm? See what Equatorial Guinea did to Algeria. Hmm? So these teams are, they're, they're, that's why I said, don't look down on any team. Don't look down on any team. Any team can perform. You understand? They came to this competition to perform. They came to this competition to play. When I say play, play well. Like play, play, play football. Play soccer. So, Comoros, they scored in the, in the, the first goal was in the third minute. How did they let that happen? Let's analyze this goal. They scored in the third minute. Like, I don't know what's really going on with the Ghanaian defense, man. I don't understand what's going on with the Ghanaian defense. So, basically, the guy acted like he was going to um, pass to his, um, what's it called, his fellow player. And then he just deceived the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper was thinking he was going to pass to his player. And then he just caught the goal. Yeah. Ghana keeper, fine boy. The, guy, the Nigerian keeper too is a fine boy. <laughs> okay. So Ghana almost caught in the seventh, seventh minute with the corner. Now, let's talk about the Andre the Day I use um, red card. Do you guys think that was a red card? Let's start with that. Okay, let me give my own opinion. I, I, I fully support what the referee did by giving him a red card. That was so clumsy. Why would he do that? When you are know your team, your team needs you. You know, it's not this time. It's not, it's not this moment that you want to be getting a red card. You want to be, you want to compose yourself. You want to be calm so you guys can at least score and get the three points and try to get to the next round. Man, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Anyways, guys, I just wanted to just say my uh my mind about the ghana commerce game and um i'm looking forward to nigeria's next game let's see what they're gonna do you know what i'm saying are they gonna perform well we're gonna find out you know what i'm saying but my prediction on the team that would be winning the afcon is still nigeria if you agree with that signify in the comment section you know what i'm saying <laughs> uh rise will come back to us. anyways guys like i said sorry about my ranting and then i just want to speak my mind you know what i'm saying ghana is out now let's see what the other teams are going to do you know what i'm saying but thank you guys for the continuous love and support i really love you guys if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe right now because there are more entertaining videos coming you know what i'm saying thank you very much for the love and support and I'll see you guys on the next one. God bless the whole life. God. Peace.